In this video, I'll show you how to connect printers in UCS. The Univention corporate server contains a printing system that can be used to implement even complex environments. Printers and printer groups are managed in the Univention Management Console, or UMC for short. The print services are based on CAPS, that's a common Unix printing system. The printer queues are managed by CAPS and UMC. The technical capabilities of a printer are specified in so-called PPD files. These files contain information such as whether a printer can print in color, whether duplex printing is possible, which paper trays are available, which resolutions are supported, and which printer command languages are supported. For example, PCL or PostScript. UCS provides a variety of filters and PPD files by default, so most printers can be accessed without having to install additional drivers. A description on how to configure additional PPD files is linked in the video description below. A print server can be installed with the application Print Server Cups from the Univention App Center. To be able to reach a printer, it must either be connected directly to the server or be accessible in the network. Now let's add a printer. We can go to the printer menu right here. Otherwise, we can also access the printer menu from the home page. Devices printer. We select add and then printer share printer and then give it a name. If necessary, you can also assign a Windows name and select the print server, which in my case is ucs.home.intranet and in my case is now connected via USB. You can find a link on how to configure protocol and destination correctly in the video description below. With an USB printer, you just have to enter the USB address. That would be in my case Canon slash BJC85 question mark serial and so on. Now we select the printer manufacturer, in my case Canon and can also search for the device right here. I select Gutenprint IJS.5.2. Now we can optionally configure a location and a description. You can also activate the quota for the printer. You will find an article about it in the video description. Finally, we select Create Printer. Now another example, a printer in a network. In my case, this would be the HP Color LaserJet CP3525. If we add a new computer under computer on the start page and configure it as IP Manage Client, we can assign its name, for example, Color Laser. Here the name plays an important role because it indicates the address of the printer. We select our network and add the MAC address of the printer. The MAC address can usually be found on the back of the printer or on a printable network configuration page. At the end, you have to enter the IP address correctly. Now you can reach this printer under the address IPP colon slash slash color laser dot home dot intranet slash IPP. The path and the protocol depend on the printer individually. In this case, the driver HP Color LaserJet CP3525 would be postscript followed by recommended and color in individual brackets. With these settings, we set up the network printers under printers as previously shown. Now we can configure the printer and specify who is allowed to use it. I choose Access Control on the left side of the printer page and can set up a basic rule. Either access is completely unrestricted 
only allowed for selected users or groups, or you can deny access to certain groups. How you set this up is up to you. We recommend the administration of users in groups for this purpose. If you want to learn more about this, you will now see the corresponding video linked in the upper right corner. At the end, we select Save. In UCS, printer classes in CAPS are implemented as printer groups. For clients, printer groups appear like normal printers. A printer group increases the availability of the print service. When printing across a printer group, the job will be sent to the first available printer of the printer group. The selection of the printers takes place according to the round-robin principle, so that a balanced utilization is sought. An article on how to configure and create printer groups is linked in the video description. The print server package comes with an additional module called print jobs. On the one hand, we can view the print jobs by selecting the printer and managing print jobs here, if necessary. On the other hand, we can deactivate the printer. Or if we have activated the quota, we can also set up the quota. If you want to delete a printer, go to Printer through the Device panel, select the respective printer and delete it. This was the instruction for connecting printers in UCS. More information, download options and an online demo can be found at univention.com.